Hi everyone, um, it's been quite a while since the last video and uh, a, lot has, uh, a lot has changed. Um, I think the last video we did we just hung the boiler and uh, I think we were about to do the wiring and uh, I just haven't had a chance to video everything uh, as we went along so uh, this actually now is uh, all installed. Uh, that was the FW100 sensor and there's another wire coming through the wall here which was for the FW100 external sensor. I've just run those through some plastic trunking and they exit there. Uh, we've got the uh, RCD spur there. This is all heat resistant cable. Um, the polarity does not matter on from the FW100 and the, control, the uh, external sensor and uh, the wiring is you know, all done in there. Very easily achieved. Uh, you just take a few screws out to remove the cover and uh, uh, just make the connections. Now, the flue hadn't been done uh, in the last video. The hole had been drilled. Uh, again, that was very straightforward. This is the standard flue that comes with it. and. Um, it's a telescopic one and uh, we were lucky the wall uh, was just thick enough so we could put it through in its uh, minimum length and uh, if we just have a look outside we've got this horrible sort of pebble coated uh, wall and um, you can just see that there I don't know if I can zoom in or not get a better picture of it but uh, what I've done there to get a nice seal, as you can see that rubber that seal, rubber boot uh, against the wall. So we've just smeared the wall with uh, uh, some mortar and uh, you know sealed it in all like, in like that. We obviously filled the hole with uh, some cement, uh, some mortar as well, packed it all out. Uh, you can probably see the slight incline that's built into the uh, flue. Uh, so no issues there. Uh, something you do have to be careful of is when you're putting the little screw in that holds it together uh, and then the tape, you mustn't puncture uh, through the, the two uh, sides. There's obviously the air coming in and the uh, uh, combustion, the products of combustion going out. And when they're testing this, uh, they can see if you've made a hole through the, uh, through the liner. Um, so we had the pressure relief. Uh, pipe work, uh, you can see there that is the condensate pipe um, running down from uh, there straight through the wall out the other side. Uh, where are we? There we go. That's all got to be insulated. I've dug uh, the condensate um, soak away, that is the limestone chippings. And yes, we have an awful lot of rubbish <laughs> to clear with a skip at some point. Uh, that is a half a meter deep and it must be 500 mil away from the wall. Uh, you can see the gas pipe. Uh, the only reason that's got insulation on it is just to protect the joints uh, from the weather. Uh, the earth runs straight along uh, to the where are we? The meter box, which is down there. And, uh, so that was pretty much it outside. Um, we then filled the system uh, with uh, water, pumped it all through, checked for leaks. Um, uh, as you know, I pressure tested downstairs, but we did have a leak upstairs. One of the um, push fit fittings, when I'd made the connection and pushed the pipe into it, it had somehow managed to dislodge the uh, rubber O-ring and, uh, and there was a leak up there, which we, we quickly fixed. Um, but after that, it was, uh, uh, you know, pressure tested, uh, flushed a few times. Uh, we then used the Sentinel system cleaner. I think we used two liters uh, of that, and um, uh, flushed it through a few times with plain water, uh, and then filled up with three liters of Sentinel inhibitor. Um, you know, that happened over a couple of days because it takes so long to fill and drain. Uh, and then refill. So, yeah, there's a good couple of days work there. Uh, just show you the FW100 now in uh, operation. Just press the menu. Um, 
I mean, I would actually like this backlight on all the time, but uh, let's just zoom out a bit here. I don't think that's focusing. Yeah, it's probably a bit dark in here, actually. But you can see here we've got the uh, the outside temperature, 10 degrees, the room temperature, and the set temperature, I think, at the moment is about 21 or 22. You can adjust all these parameters uh, in the various menus. Uh, and you know it will just vary the boiler water temperature going around the central heating depending on the uh, outside temperature. Uh, it seems you know sometimes the, the radiators are barely warm to the touch, but as soon as it cools down outside, the temperature is ramped up. And I guess that's the most uh, efficient uh, way of doing it. Um, we. Uh, I actually, in the end, made all of the connections uh, myself. Uh, after speaking to a couple of people, I made the connection to the gas meter, uh, the boiler, the whole, the whole lot. Um, obviously, you may not feel that you're able to, to do that yourselves. Uh, once it was all flushed through and filled and working correctly, we called out a local heating engineer and he came along and uh, gave it a, a, a thorough inspection which was lasted about an hour and a half. Um, he obviously filled out all the uh, Worcester Bosch paperwork, um, you know, he's checked the connections, checked everything is done as per the regulations and specifications, checked the flue gases, uh, you know, you name it, it was, uh, it was checked, various water temperatures in different conditions, all checked uh, and you know it took us say it took about an hour and a half and uh, fortunately it's uh, it all passed and uh, we've now got the certificate on its way from uh, the gas safe register people um, the guy had a, a little printer um, that printed off all the results uh, from the various you know flu tests and things like that and uh, we now have a fully working and certified system so after starting months ago um, you know it, it's now it's now done so can you do it yourself yeah, I'd say you probably can you're going to need some experience uh, with electrics and, uh, and plumbing obviously uh, you know if you've got no experience in either I wouldn't uh, suggest taking this on um, but You'll probably remember that this all started because British Gas gave us a £13,000 quote for seven radiators and a lower, far lower spec boiler. Uh, and you know, we've bought all the stuff ourselves and we've saved you know thousands. I, I can't tell you the total cost of all the parts because there's always little bits that we've had to buy along the way that I'd forgotten or didn't think I'd need and we did. I'm guessing probably three three and a half uh, thousand pounds possibly going up to four for the whole the whole system um, but you know it's been really interesting uh, and this is the first time in seven years since we moved in here that we're, we're actually warm um, you know we've got the uh, TRV fours on there uh, they're fully open at the moment downstairs and upstairs we've got them set to three and it, you know it's all working perfectly well. I've still got to connect the ensuite and kitchen to the boiler hot water, which um, is the pipe going up there. And obviously we've got a bit of patching up and and things like that to do, and a little bit more of insulation required uh, in the loft. Uh, and you know that's it really. Um, I hope everybody found it interesting. <laughs> We've certainly saved a lot of money. You can definitely do it yourself, uh, as long as you follow all the books and regulations as much as possible, and then get somebody out to certify it. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. It's, it's the end of uh, many months of, uh, of work. I've uh, not had a chance to do much filming because we've got a, a new addition, haven't we, madam? This one can eat and poo for Britain. Uh, we've got a nine-year-old as well, uh, the chocolate Labrador that is, not a, not a child. <laughs> so it's been 
been all go the last uh, <laughs> last month or six weeks. So yeah, anyway, hope that was uh, all useful to people over the last few months, and uh, we'll um, we'll see what the next project is and uh, and whether it's worth filming. Thanks very much for watching and following this and, and thanks for all the comments over the months. Take care.